Hello, dear. So let us do justice to this other beautiful question. We have how many carbon atoms are in 0 0.350 moles of glucose? A, 0. You can check that yourself. But what we are interested in this particular question is how many? They want to know the number of carbon atoms that are present in 0 0.350 moles of glucose. What does this mean? So, 0 0.350 moles stands for what? The first thing you want to define is the term here. Moles. What is a mole? I will tell you. If I have 12 bags, I can say I have a dozen bag, right? I can say I have a dozen bag. What if I have um, 20 books? I can also say I have a score of books. What it simply means is that now I have been able to replace the word 20 and 12 with dozen and score. So it's representative of 12, a dozen, and a score is representative of 20 books in the same vein. When I say I have one mole of something, anything, I'm only saying I have, guess it, one very large number. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd items of that particular thing. I don't care. It could be biro. It could be pen. <laughs> Did I say it could be pen? Pen. Imagine 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd Pens. That's going to be a very large number, right? It's like saying the C022 000000. It's called a sextillion, anyway, for those of you that care about the number. So it's just a short form of writing this very large number, one mole. So I'd rather say I have a mole. In the same way, if I have six bags, I can say I have half a dozen. If I have, let's say, 24 bags, I can also say that I have two dozen bags. Is that not correct? I guess so. So, I can have more than the dozen, a fraction of a dozen, twice a dozen, in its multiples, right? In the same vein, I can do this with the moles. I can have more than a mole, even less than a mole. So in this case, if I consider this, I'm saying that this is not up to a mole because it's in fractions. So this is some fractions of some mole. So it represents some types of number. So they are asking us how many carbon atoms are in 0 0.35 moles of glucose. I know that this glucose is a molecule of glucose. How do I know? Because it's not an atom. It is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. In fact, it has 6 carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and 6 oxygen atoms. If I just say, ah, okay, the number of carbon atoms in this glucose is 6, I'll be very wrong. You know why? Because this 6 just represents the number of atoms in one molecule of glucose. Remember that I told you you can have a mole of anything. So I can have a mole of glucose. A one mole of glucose will simply represent one mole of glucose will simply represent 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd glucose molecules. The reason I'm using the word glucose molecules is because glucose is a molecule. If it were to be carbon, I would say carbon atom. What's carbon molecules i hope you get the idea all right so to get the number of carbon atoms in 0 0.35 moles of glucose i want to know how many carbon atoms i would have in one complete mole of course i know that already because i said one mole of anything is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of that particular thing so one mole of glucose 
of glucose is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of glucose. What is 0 0.350 moles of glucose? That will give me some number which I don't know x. So if I do a simple cross multiplication here like this, I will end up having x times 1 equals 0 0.350 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. My x will now give me, let me check this out quickly. Okay. 2.17 times 10 to the 23rd. So, I will have 2.17 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of glucose, which is C6H12O6, in 0 0.350 moles. You see how beautiful this is. Now, I've been able to ascertain how many molecules of glucose that are present in 0 0.350 moles. This wasn't what we were asked. We were asked how many carbon atoms are present in 0 0.350 moles. So, we've gotten the number of molecules that are in 0 0.350 moles of glucose. So, now we can get exactly the number of carbon atoms. So, we got 2.17 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of glucose in 0 0.350 moles of glucose. Now, we can easily get the number of carbon atoms because I know that in one molecule of glucose contains how many carbon atoms? Yeah, right. 6. 2.17 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of glucose, we simply contain 6 times 2.17 times 10 to the 23rd. So, if I work this out, I will get the number of carbon atoms in 0 0.350 moles of glucose. If I do this correctly, I'm going to have 1.26 times 10 to the 24th. Carbon atoms in 0 0.350 moles of glucose, C6H12O6. So, my correct option will be E.